This is the story of how our female humanoid robots were almost banned by the World Economic Forum. In 2016, the Vice Chair of the World Economic Forum Council on Robotics and Artificial Intelligence called for a ban on highly human-like humanoid robots. He stated that us as humans are not equipped in our basic brain apparatus to see something that's perfectly humanoid and not treat it as if it wasn't a human being. Basically meaning that, so in some sense, a humanoid robot is lying to us using the lower levels of our brain we don't get to actually control. Moreover, that the more a robot begins to resemble a human, the more uncomfortable people become. And he stated that this could pose a major issue for children in particular. As if children were exposed to very human-like robots at an early age, growing up in a household where there were humanoid robots and humans, it could be extremely confusing for the child and could probably result in seeing psychosis developing as a result of the machines not behaving as the child expects them to behave because they think that they're actually humans, but they're actually robots. Another study by various Japanese researchers actually found that children are likely to show serious abusive behavior towards robots. The researchers concluded that the more human-like the robots looked, the more likely it was for the kids to start beating them up. Although I can't say from personal experience, because looking back at my childhood, I never really played with robots. But from someone looking from the outside in, they kind of have a good point. For kids at least. I mean, if you want to play with robots as an adult, then that's a different story. But Anyway, in today's video, we are taking a look at 10, if all the research is correct, very dangerous female humanoid robots. But before we get into it, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and let's get it. Number 1 is a robot that was designed by a Hong Kong graphic designer named Ricky Ma. He named the robot Mark 1. Although what's very interesting is that this robot, which is said by many people, that this robot actually really resembles the Hollywood actress Scarlett Johansson. Leave your comments below if you do think Mark 1 actually does resemble Scarlett Johansson. Anyway, the life-size humanoid creation is made from a 3D printed skeleton wrapped in silicon skin and features face and color tracking eyes. The robot responds to pre-programmed verbal commands spoken into a microphone. Its creator Ricky Moss said it took a year and a half and $50,000 USD to build the robot. Following 2016, when Ricky Ma debuted the robot, in 2019, Ricky Ma published a book named DIY Lifelike Robot Book, which was a book about the Mark I robot, which sold to readers in over 28 countries and 93 cities. In 2022, where we are today, Mark I is celebrating its sixth anniversary. Number two. Meet Grace, the COVID-19 humanoid robot which debuted in 2021. Hanson Robotics, a Hong Kong-based robotics firm, unveiled its latest creation in 2021. They invented the humanoid robot named Grace in hopes to revolutionize healthcare. Designed as an assistant for doctors, Grace is equipped with sensors including a thermal camera to detect a patient's temperature and pulse to help doctors diagnose illness and deliver treatment. The Android is said to be a companion for patients as well, specializing in senior care. Grace speaks three languages, English, Mandarin, and Cantonese, and can socialize and conduct talk therapy. The team at Hanson Robotics said that Grace was made with the intentions to support medical professionals rather than actually replace them. Further, using AI and robotics in this context could actually help gather important data for healthcare providers 
to assess the well-being of various patients. Number three is Asuna, which is described as a hyper-real android robot. Asuna's character is said to be a 15-year-old humanoid, which was created in 2014. When Asuna was showcased at the Wonder Festival in Tokyo, many people mistook her for a real-life girl due to her lifelike movements and natural mannerisms. The robot was developed by a Tokyo company named A-Lab Robotics. And the very scary number 4 is Saya, which was created in Japan at the Tokyo University of Science. Saya is said to be a humanoid robot teacher. The robot can express six basic emotions like fear, disgust, anger, happiness, gloom, and surprise. The synthetic rubber face of this robot allows it to display the feelings of the facial expressions it wants to demonstrate, which is all possible by the 18 motors under her face. Additionally, the Saya robot can talk in several languages, give tasks to her students, and even do roll calls. The humanoid teacher can say thank you with its lips moving sideways to show her pleasure. Originally, the teacher robot was created to be a receptionist robot. However, its creator at the Tokyo University of Science decided to enhance the robot and make it a humanoid robot teacher. Number 5 is Jia Jia, a robot that comes from China. Jia Jia is designed as a robot but built to follow every action a person would instruct. Yes, you heard that right. If one is making a simple conversation with Jia Jia, she is programmed to make specific facial expressions related to the format asked and could also learn new skills from that person. She is that lifelike. Number 6 is Aiko Chihira. Developed by the electronic giant Toshiba, this robot made its debut working in a department store in Tokyo in 2015. Chihira, which has human-like features and blinks, can also be programmed to speak various different languages. The robot is said to have 43 motors, which allows it to move. The robot is also programmed to do Japanese sign language. During its debut in 2015 at the department store in Tokyo, the robot performed an act of singing, lip syncing to various songs, as customers walked by and took pictures. Number 7 is Erika, another humanoid robot that comes from Japan. Erika is one of the most lifelike female humanoid robots out there. She is said to be able to do anything. The advanced humanoid robot is an android designed as a research platform to study human-robot interaction. It can understand natural language and have a conversation. The robot has a very human-like voice and can display a variety of facial expressions. The team of research scientists who developed Erika at the Kyoto University in Japan developed the artificial intelligence system of this robot so well that it could emulate human laughter as well, given in the right amount and in the right situation. And number 8 is Ackroyd, which is another android humanoid robot. Ackroyd was one of the very first humanoid robots to ever debut in the early 2000s, unveiled in 2003 at the International Robotic Exhibition in Tokyo, Japan. Several different variations of this robot have been produced since then. In most cases, the robot's appearance has been modeled after an average young woman of Japanese descent. The Actroid female humanoid robot is a pioneering example of a real machine similar to imagined machines called by science fiction terms androids or gynoids which is often used to describe fictional robots. The robot can mimic such lifelike functions as blinking, speaking, and breathing. Number 9 is Junko Chohira, a very realistic humanoid robot that actually works at the Aqua City shopping complex in Japan. 
The robot works at an info desk at the mall and can speak Japanese, Chinese, and English. She's able to answer questions and offer general visitor information. Though most people are at her desk just to take pictures with the robot, laugh, and try to communicate with various random things. As it's said that most people that know that Chihira is a humanoid robot don't actually ask or need any visitor information. And the last robot on this list is Cleo. Cleo is an RT600 android which was developed for the video game Detroit Become Human. She is the first Android model perfected by CyberLife. Since the release of the game, there have been several subsequential optimized Clio humanoid models made in her likeness. As the first personal assistant built by CyberLife, she is designed to help humans with everyday tasks, such as doing housework and making appointments. She is also the first android to pass the turning test by publicly passing face-to-face -face tests that were done in 2022. If you ever want to get a glimpse of Cleo, the best and easiest way to do so is probably download and play the game Detroit Become a Human. Anyways, that wraps up the list of 10 very real, very scary, very dangerous humanoid female robots. If you enjoyed this video and you want to watch more videos like it, make sure you check out all my other videos. And if you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe. Till next time, catch you in the next one.